All right, so we have a new adventure today. I'm detecting a spot that I really haven't detected before. I've detected in areas around this field that I'm in and, and these woods behind me, but I'm gonna be along an old railroad that was being developed during the Civil War. Uh, we couldn't really find anything out here. I'm not really looking for Civil War relics, but you know, I'll always take them if they show up. I'm mainly looking for coins or just old relics, buttons, things like that. So I'm glad you could join me. Let's go dig some history. First decent target of the day ends up being a piece of lead. Not really sure what it was used for. It has these little, I don't know, little grooves in it. It was definitely part of something bigger. Great signal. Let's look at it together. I see something green under there, but I think it's a shotgun shell. Or is it? Oh wow, a grommet. Noise. Grommets haven't really changed much over the years. A lot of the modern ones have their size numbers like two, three, four, five. This one's a fairly old one. Soldiers were camped in the area uh, during the Civil War, uh, all around the area, so this could be from a rubber blanket could be from a tent it's hard to say I'm gonna check in the area around it because sometimes when you find one grommet you'll find others if it was a full canvas or whatever uh, that was left behind the other grommets will be left with it so I'm just gonna kind of detect around and I'll let you know if I find something could it be one let's look at it together the other one wasn't too deep Still in the hole. Not a grommet, but a giant piece of steel. Giant piece of iron. Could be a fired bullet. Let's see. Or it could be a piece of aluminum wire. Trash! You know how exciting it is whenever you see something green in the hole like brass or something that's copper and it's really old. Well, I think I've got something right here. It's not a shotgun shell. I don't know what it is, but it's got like an S shape to it. It really could be something neat. I found the grommet just a couple of yards behind me. You want to see what it is? I don't know if you do this, but I kind of sit for a minute just to reflect on the fact that I'm about to touch something, probably. It could have been dropped last week. I don't know. It could be a bottle cap. But uh, I'm about to touch something that once belonged to somebody who's probably dead now. Another man's possessions. So it's a real connection to history. All right, enough of that. Right in there. Well, that was... Um, Anticlimatic, maybe. I don't know if this is part of a spoon. Seems to be fairly old looking, but looks can be deceiving. It looks like there was some iron attached to it or part of it. Hmm, it's kind of curved. Coin or button. Looks pretty old. It's not a penny. Let's look at it. I don't think it's a penny. Oh, look how thin that is. That's going to be a button. Wow. Is that a button? Oh. Bruh. Oh, no. Very fragile. I barely touched it. That's tragic. Wow, you got to be careful. Man, I thought it was going to be stronger than that. I hope it's nothing special. Well, I hope it is, but... Hmm. Yeah, maybe I can gently... Just to get an idea. I mean, that thing was soft. Like a communion wafer. I don't know. I think this could be something special. I don't know if those are... Ornate designs, or if they served a functional purpose. 
either way I had the whole thing but look you can see the imprint right there where it was it's fairly deep in there I see something right there probably aluminum but you never know yeah it's aluminum of course it is been kind of slow, but we got a little relic here. Not that old at all, but it's a key. We'll check the area around just to see if maybe it was a set and it came apart over time, but it's a neat little relic. It's got a nice patina to it. Not that old though. Yeah, you see when you find one key, you gotta look around because the set may have been out here and got separated. Here's another one. The other key was right there, so if you find two keys, that probably means the set was lost, so you should slow down. Not that old, maybe, I don't know, 50s, 60s. Still, could be a dead man's possessions, or woman's. I don't know, it's like a violation maybe, relic hunting. There is a creepy side to it, it's partly why I'm attracted to it. And history in general, I suppose. We're going to keep looking around to see if we can find any more keys. I think there's a few more. I think we just got key number three. There it is. Yeah, right there. So, a key here. A key there. And a key there. That's why when you find one, there's usually more. Awesome. I think it's a pistol bullet. Do you see it right there? I'll know right away if it's lead. It's definitely lead. But is it from the Civil War? Definitely not. You can always tell by those little grooves. That's always post-Civil War. But it could be late 1800s, probably early 1900s. There's something in here that sounds mighty sweet. It's not that, it's a rock. Cooperate. Look, it's brass. Shotgun shell? No. Let's see what it is. Um, some type of uh, old button, maybe. Like a jeans button, perhaps. I think that's, no, or it could be, wow, it could be just about anything. No, you know what that is? It's part of a, it looks like it's part of a bolt. No, that doesn't make sense either. Huh, some type of fitting. Who knows, it could be anything. And I've got something green in the hole. Let's dive in together. Right there, I think, yeah, right here, look. It's something pretty solid. And just by looking at it, it's got a very vintage look to it. Bigger than I thought. I think this could be something really special. Oh wow, it's just a piece of copper tubing. Sometimes when you're out in the field detecting, it's hard to keep track of where you've been. So I like when there's hay bales out because it kind of helps you to make straight lines and cover areas thoroughly. And cover Oh, this is a wicked signal, bro. It's in my hand. Oh, wow. What is that? Oh, neat. Or is this a piece of folded copper tube? Yeah, jeez. It's a piece of folded copper tubing, probably. Well, that's kind of neat. It tells me a little bit more about the area. I knew there was some type of structure here and there was a lot of activity, but I don't know exactly what it was. Maybe it was related to something with the state. Don't know if it's very old, but it looks like, I don't, it looks like it might be a pewter button. What did it ring up? 75-ish. It was about 75-80 when I dug it up. So it's not stainless steel. 
Might be an old pewter button. Again, someone's possessions from some time ago. Neat little find. Hit something and just tore apart right there. Shore is beautiful out here. Fall setting in. Things are starting to cool off. I think I have a coin. Let's see what it is. This popped it out. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Look, he's hiding right there. I don't know. I've got a feeling it's an Indian head. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh yeah, it's an Indian head. Let's see if I can get a year. I think that says 1900 even. Sure does. All right, it's getting pretty warm and I was on my way out just taking some lazy swings and I have a pretty deep signal and it is the last target I'm gonna dig today and I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping, that it's a Civil War bullet because I really needed something from the Civil War today. Let's dive in together. I'm kind of worried at that orange right there because it might be some aluminum, but this deep out here, aluminum isn't really that deep out here. Let's look at it. Oh, it's not aluminum. <gasps> that looks like the base of a fire mini ball. Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, wow, it might even be dropped. Oh, wow. They never get old. Fire three ringer. Been detecting for about four and a half hours now, and finally, they're out here. There was action in the area. 